welcome to the monthly shop. No, it's not it's not the monthly shop actually. When I really thought about it. <laughs> Are you smiling? Are you smiling? Are you smiling? Are you smiling? It's cold out here. Oh, it's lovely out here. It's a beautiful day. It's so warm. The monthly shop. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the monthly shop. No, it's not It's not the monthly shop actually. When I really thought about it, I thought when we buy this stuff, it's usually six to eight weeks. We might top up the odd one or two thing if we get bored of one type of bean or lentil. But generally, it's six to eight weeks. So I'm going to take you through that shop that we did today now. So, no I'm not. I've just heard Hezekiah. So I'll see you in about 10, 15. Okay, so I'm excited to do this video because I realized something else today. I call it the monthly shop. It's not actually a monthly shop. I just see it as that because I know this baby here needs replacing at least once every, say, four to five weeks. But the rest can actually last to eight weeks. So. I'll take you through that today. So we went along to three shops today. We went to from yard to home in Northfield Market and Northfield Market is on Bristol Road South for you local people. Um, what did we get from Northfield Market? It was this batch here. So we got some more scotch bonnets, peppers. These are the hot peppers. We boil out beans, peas and lentils with these bad boys hey, 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 hey. the smaller they are the hotter they are so these ones are going to be hot but not that hot um, we put them in 
the water when we're about to boil and we boil them with it. It just gives it an extra kick, an extra bit of flavour. And so that's what we do for that. And we've got also some ginger, garlic and pimento seasoning. That was £1.09. And we've got this one, the ground nutmeg, which was one ninety nine. And then we've got the creamed coconut, one forty nine. I'm guessing there. Garlic powder, ninety nine pence. And these gunga peas were two forty nine. So we got those from from yard to home today. And then, because we were so busy chatting, I didn't get my receipt, so I am guessing that one. But I'm not far off, I'm probably about a pence or two pence off, I'm not far off for that. Then we went along to Home Food Express, which is also on the Bristol Road South in Northfield. And I did get my receipt for that one, I did. And Home Food Express is 747 Bristol Road South, Northfield. B31 2NG and if you do want any more details of that place just um, let me know it's not a massive shop but they do have the the brown rice that we want we always get this brown rice it's Layla brand and it's brown basmati and it's naturally gluten free as well and we get this five kilogram bag for £8.99 and that usually lasts us I mean we do go through the brown rice but that usually lasts us about four between four and six weeks, depending on how we switch it up throughout those weeks. But if we do have a lot of brown rice, we can go through it in about four weeks. And we also got the butter beans from Home Foods Express. And the butter beans are £1.49 each. Now these butter beans, I was saying to Mark earlier that I would have liked a bigger bag of these. And you very rarely see the big massive bags of butter beans. But to be honest, they swell up so big. Like this packet, just this packet, and um, the 375 gram packet alone will fill one of my big pots once it swells, and then it swells again when you actually cook it. So this actual pack will swell up one whole pot for us. So they do, you know, end up being quite a lot. And I mean, butter beans, we love butter beans. We make curry with them. We also make hummus with them as well. They're so good for hummus because they're so big and just proper succulent, you know? Make a nice good pie with these as well. So we love our butter beans, so we got those. And then we bobbed along to Options. Now Options is another great shop and they stock um, the bigger bags of the lentils and beans that we like. We tend to soak and boil these and we can mix them down with brown lentils which we already have and with the brown lentils and those they make a really nice base for like a type of a vegan style shepherd's pie or lasagna or anything the way you want a nice little compact cooked down brown sort of dinner with rice you know these these are the ones or patties when you're making patties because they're nice and small as well they really make good patties good patty fillings and pie fillings as well so we love our cow peas and the cow peas cow peas were 5.99 for this two kilogram bag which is really good our beloved chickpeas our beloved chickpeas we'll be making some hummus this time actually i think and our chickpeas were for, sorry, no, the cow peas were 5 99 The chickpeas are 4 99 for the two kilogram bag. And the red lentils, you know, we've always, we've always got to have these, bit of a lentil stew, a lentil soup. These are good in patties as well. And these were 4 99 two kilogram bag, 4 99 and actually, shout out to Options. Do you know, we were so busy chatting that I forgot to take my receipt from Options, which happens a lot with me, because when you're shopping with so many children, you're, you're counting the children, not really 
what you know the the receipt that you have unless so, it's a supermarket like a, a say chain supermarket i tend to forget my receipts so anyway so bless options because i forgot my receipt today in their shop and i called them and they opened up their systems and found the receipt for me i mean how's that for customer service eh she's eating her dinner gone nine o'clock and i phone and they called me back within five minutes with my full receipt so I was really happy about that and I just wanted to shout them out options. They're great people. Mr. and Mrs. Singh, thank you ever so much. So this are, these are the red split peas. They are two kilogram bags. And also, we watch a lot of movies. We love popcorn. We love popcorn. Now this bag is going to make a lot of popcorn. Now just a small corner of that, just that, fills my pot. Let me just show you close up. Just that fills my pot. So can you imagine how much popcorn this makes? It's also great for, you know, if you have a little movie day, you can make massive bowls. Cause I don't make small bowls of popcorn. I make big, massive enamel bowls. Can we make different toppings to go with it? So I might make a salt car caramel, or um, I might make a toffee, a stickier toffee. And all those sauces. I think I might do a popcorn video. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to do a popcorn video. Let me know. And I'll do one. Let's do one. I can't love that actually. I'm going to eat all that popcorn. And also we make a icing sugar popcorn as well which is my go-to because it's so quick. So if Mark just puts a film on it I'll be like hold it run in the kitchen pop some popcorn and it's not fancy. I don't do a fancy popcorn make. Um, we just use a big massive pot that we only use for popcorn really and yeah so that's that and the popcorn how much is it this is go on I'll give you two seconds to guess 3.49 now you know those bags of popcorn that you buy in the shop hmm? yeah I buy them too sometimes sometimes I just have a little craving for them and I buy them and when you buy those you get a couple of bowls out of it don't you but it's about a pound. Let's say the co-op brand that we buy is about a pound when we're just, you know, feeling like a bit of popcorn if we don't have any seeds in. That's the one we get. And that's a pound. But this is £3.49 and it will probably make at least 25 of those bags. So definitely great value for money. Definitely. And um, we also got some spices as well, which we usually top up once a month. That's another thing that does get topped up once a month are the spices and the rice. And sometimes I throw in a little extra one that I don't normally get, just to give it a little bit of a different taste for the dinner. So we've got some turmeric, we've got some cinnamon, we've got some cumin powder, and we've got some curry powder, and we've got some mixed herbs. So yeah, that's the the bulk shop for the net. I think this will definitely last about eight weeks minimum, to be honest, six to eight weeks minimum. And yes, we'll probably, as I said, top up the rice and the spices, but that's about, and the scotch bonnet actually. Are you ready for the price? Are you ready for the price? 45 pounds and 18 pence. What a bargain, isn't that good? I'd say that's pretty good. Sometimes I'll switch it up and I'll get others, but I still have brown lentils, I still have red kidney beans. I still have some cowpeas actually and a few jars. So what we do, can you see the jars here at the back? I have lots of fun filling those up. So all these jars get filled up and then we put them in our store cupboard and I just use one jar is usually about a day and a half of food to be soaked. Um, so if I use two jars, I know it's definitely a three day dinner and Yes, the jars are relatively the same size. I have this new fancy jar for my birthday from my mum, which we had some homemade goodies in there. And this will be our popcorn jar now. On with the filling. Actually, I forgot to mention part of the monthly shop. It's also frozen cherries, frozen mixed berries and frozen blueberries from Aldi today and that they will usually last us about four weeks to be honest usually we put those on our porridge the joy the joy <laughs>
I really like this. This is so satisfying, just seeing it all in jars. Now, then they'll be going in the store cupboard with the rest. So, these are all the jars. And let me know if you have any questions about what we're going to actually cook with these. Yes, let's share. Let's make a little community of recipes in the comments. So for now, it's bye from me and the beans. Before I go, I was just about to leave then. Have you subscribed? If you like the video and only press the like button if you like the video. Don't do it because you love us. Do it because, well you can do it because you love us, but like the video because you like it. It tells us what type of content you'd like to see more of. If you found it useful, if you found it eye-opening or if you found that you have some advice for us let's get the community chat going in those comments shall we can you right now tell me your favorite recipe with any of these beans or lentils you don't have to put the full recipe just put the name and i'll look it up i will look it up now it's really bye for now because i have a nice bit of leftovers warming up there and i can hear it sizzling so yeah bye take care yeah see you bye yeah